So what I have here is the same Logic project that I used a couple of tutorials ago to synchronize the MPC to Logic. And I recorded the drums in from the MPC onto an audio track. The only difference here is I've gotten rid of or hidden the MPC drums and I've brought in a drummer track and I'm using Benny as my drummer and he's using the Motown Revisited drum kit to play a new drum part. Let me play a little bit of it. So the reason I took the MPC drums out and I brought in a drummer track is because I wanted access to the separated drum sounds that are part of the kit so that I could process individual parts of the kit, say for instance the snare or the kick or a tom if I like. And I can do that really easily with a drummer track. So as you can see in my rack, what I'm going to use to process one of those parts of the kit is my Art Pro VLA Professional 2-Channel Tube Compressor here. To do this, you have to have an audio interface that has more than two inputs and outputs. In this case, I'll be using my Universal Audio Apollo, which gives me eight analog inputs and eight analog outputs. The way this works is I'll be instantiating the I.O. plugin into my signal flow. And the I.O. plugin can be found when you go to your audio effects and go down to the utilities category. You'll see it right here. It says I.O. And because I've selected it on a stereo track, my only option is stereo. But you'll see other versions of this that I'll show you later on in the tutorial. When I open it up, we can take a quick look at it. The I.O. plugin will act as a physical insert point into my signal flow which will allow me to make a serial connection to my outboard hardware processors based on the inputs and outputs chosen here. So I have my outputs. I can see all of my connections to my Universal Audio Apollo and the same thing for my inputs. In other words, it will take the entire signal and send it out via the I.O. plugin, whichever input and output, and it will be carried on one if mono or two, if stereo, of the outputs on my audio interface, which are connected to the input or inputs, if in stereo, on my external hardware processor. That signal will be processed by the outboard hardware, in this case, my tube compressor, and then sent out of its outputs, which will be connected to a input or inputs, if in stereo, of my audio interface, and then sent back to the I.O. plugin allowing that process signal to be sent to the stereo bus. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up on a individual part of this drum kit. I'm not going to process the entire drum kit in this tutorial like I have it set up here. So I'm going to take this plug-in, this I.O. plug-in that I put in, and I'm going to get rid of it and say no plug-in. And I'm going to hide uh, Benny's parameters down here at the bottom. And what I want to do is I want to have access to the individual parts of this drum kit. If I go to my mixer now, you'll see in my mixer that all of my drums are coming in on this stereo track here. If I play from here in the verse. So with everything coming on the stereo channel, I don't have access to the kick, the snare, the overheads, the toms, the hi-hats separately. I can only process them as a group. And in this case, I want to process just the snare. So what I'm going to do is, and you can do this very simply with a drummer track, is I can open my library. As long as this 
track is selected and the library is associated with the channel strip settings for the drummer track, I can see that the drum kit that is selected is the Motown Revisited. If I go under producer kits though, I will see the names of all of these same drum kits, but over here with the plus beside them. And when they have the plus beside them, then we select it. I'm going to select Motown Revisited. I'm going, to, I'm going to give it a second to add in all the pieces. But you immediately see right here on the track header that I now have a disclosure triangle, letting you see that this is now a track stack. And if I open it, you can see the parts of the drum kit separated. And more importantly, if I go to my mixer, at the bottom of my channel strip, I have that same disclosure triangle, and I can open it, and it will show me all of the parts of that drum kit. So I have my kick in, kick out, snare top, snare bottom, hi-hat, tom, high, mid, low, room A, room B, leak, tambourine, shaker, hand claps, and then I have my time-based effect of a reverb down here. So let me play a little bit again here. So now I can isolate my snare if I want to process this snare individually. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to process the snare. I'm going to compress the snare using my outboard compressor. 